Hello friends, welcome to my lecture on poison process. The poison process is one of the most widely used counting process. It is used when we want to uh, count the uh, occurrences of certain events that appear to happen at a certain rate, but completely at random. For example, the number of car accidents in an area, the location of users in a wireless network, the request for individual documents on a web server, etc. Consider a random process representing the number of occurrences of an event up to time t that is over the time interval 0 t such a process is called a counting process and be denoted by n t t greater than or equal to 0. Clearly n t t greater than or equal to 0 is continuous time discrete state process any and any of its realization is non decreasing function of time as time increases the value of n t increases. So, it is a non decreasing function of time the counting process is called a poison process with the rate parameter lambda if it satisfies the following conditions n 0 equal to 0 that is at time t equal to 0 ok uh, n t is equal to 0 n t is an independent increment process that is the number of occurrences in two non overlapping time intervals are independent. Uh, thus from figure 1 we can see that in the figure 1 uh, we are uh, the times are indicated time t equal to 0 then t equal to t 1 t equal to t 2 t equal to t 3 and t equal to t 4. So, in the time interval t 1 to t 2 the increments n t 2 and the increment n t 2 minus n t 1 and in the time interval t 3 t 4 the increment n t 4 minus n t 3 are independent ok. So, in two non overlapping intervals the number of occurrences are independent the number of occurrences in any interval of length tau greater than 0 follows a lambda tau distribution. Now, there is second definition of this poison process in the second definition 1 and 2 are same this n 0 equal to 0 and n t is an independent increment process that also occurs in the second definition, but the third condition ok is replaced by uh, these ones p n delta t equal to 0 equal to 1 minus lambda delta t plus a small order delta t p n delta t equal to 1 is lambda delta t plus a small order delta t where a small order delta t implies any function of uh, delta t such that limit delta t goes to 0 a small order delta t over delta t is equal to 0. Then p n delta t greater than or equal to a small order delta t ok. So, these assumptions are valid for many applications. So, there are two definitions and uh, uh, this is definition 1 ok, this is definition 2. Now, let us see uh, some examples on uh, poison process number of alpha particles emitted by a radioactive substance, number of cars, cars arriving at, pet at a petrol pump during a particular interval of time, number of trucks arriving at a check post number of incoming telephone calls at an exchange. Probability mass function for the uh, poison process. So, let us find the probability mass function for the poison process. Uh, this uh, figure shows the time t and time t plus delta t. So, consider the time interval t to t plus delta t in this figure ok. Then p and del t plus delta t equal to n, p and t plus delta t equal to n means over the time period time interval 0 to t plus delta t number of occurrences equal to n. The probability of n t plus delta t equal to n is probability of occurrences of n events up to time t plus delta t. So, p n t plus delta t equal to n can be written as p n t equal to n and delta t equal to 0. The n occurrences in the time 0 interval 0 to t plus delta t may occur during the time 0 to t and then there is no occurrence between t and t plus delta t ok. The other situation can be that during the time period 0 to t number of occurrences are n minus 1 and from t to t, t plus delta t there is one occurrence. Then third situation is number of occurrences in the time interval 0 to t is less than n minus 1 and between t and t plus delta t number of occurrences is more than or equal to 2. So, there can be three such possibilities ok. Now, probability that n t equal to n and delta t equal to 0 since we have assumed that uh, the time intervals the uh, we have assumed that uh, uh, 
uh, NT is an in independent increment process that is number of occurrences in two non overlapping intervals are independent. Okay, so, probability of uh, since NT equal to n and delta T equal to 0 are independent in, uh, uh, events. So, probability of NT equal to n and delta T equal to 0 will be equal to product of their probabilities. So, probability of NT equal to n probability and delta T equal to 0. Similarly, for the second uh, case probability NT equal to n minus 1 probability NT equal to 1 and delta T equal to 1. Then third possibility is probability that n t is less than n minus 1 prob probability that n t del n delta t is greater than or equal to 2. Okay. So, this is because as I said this is because the uh, n t equal to n and delta t equal to 0 th these events are independent. Now, probability n t equal to n into probability n delta t equal to 0 n delta t equal to 0 uh, for, for probability that n delta t equal to 0 it is we have 1 minus lambda delta t plus small order delta t. So, let us put that here. So, 1 minus lambda delta t plus small order delta t then probability that n delta t equal to 1 can be replaced by lambda delta t plus small order delta t. So, let us put it here lambda delta t plus small order delta t then probability that n delta t is greater than or equal to 2 this one okay, that we can replace by a small order delta t ok. So, we put it here ok. So, we have p n t plus delta t equal to n is equal to p n t equal to n into 1 minus lambda delta t plus small order lambda plus small order delta t plus p n t equal to n minus 1 lambda delta t plus small order delta t plus p n t less than n minus 1 into small order uh, delta t. Now, now let us find the limit ok limit of p n del t plus delta t equal to n minus p n t equal to n divided by delta t. Let us see how we get this. So, uh, if you multiply on the right side what you get uh, right side is equal to p n t equal to n n t equal to n ok p n t equal to n into 1. So, p n t equal to n minus lambda delta t p n t equal to n okay, plus small order delta t into p n t equal to n. Okay. Then here what we have p n t equal to n minus 1 into lambda delta t and then p n t equal to n minus 1 into uh, delta 0 delta uh, small order delta t ok and then p n t equal to n t less than n minus 1 into small order delta t ok. Now, this term Okay, this term we can subtract on the left side and that divide by delta t. So, what we will get p n t plus delta t n t plus delta t equal to n minus we subtract this value p n t equal to n okay, and then divide by delta t. So, what do we get then minus lambda p n t equal to n uh, plus a small order delta t divided by delta t into p n t equal to n okay. plus uh, this value lambda delta t p n t equal to n minus 1 is divided by delta t and we have uh, plus lambda times we are dividing by delta t. So, p n t equal to n minus 1 and then we have p n t equal to n minus 1 into small order delta t divided by delta t and then we have uh, p n t less than n minus 1. 
uh, into small order delta t divided by delta t ok. Now, as delta t goes to 0 ok, as delta t goes to 0 small order delta t over delta t goes to 0. So, let us use this. So, as delta t goes to 0 ok, uh, we have a small order delta t divided by delta t goes to 0 ok. So, what will happen this term ok, this term uh, will go to 0 this term will go to 0 and this term will go to 0 ok, because p and t equal to n, p and t equal to n minus 1, p and t less than n minus 1 are finite value quantities, they are uh, prob probabilities, so they lie between 0 and 1 ok. So, th they will go to 0 and therefore, as delta t goes to 0, p and t plus delta t equal to n minus p and t equal to n divided by delta t will go to minus lambda p and t equal to n plus lambda p and t equal to n minus 1. So, we get uh, lambda we can take common minus lambda we can take common then we will have p and t equal to n minus p and t equal to n minus 1. So, as delta t goes to 0 we get this ok. Now, by definition of derivative the left hand side denotes d over d t of p and t equal to n. So, d over d t of p and t equal to n is minus lambda p and t equal to n minus p and t equal to n minus 1. You can see this is a first order linear differential equation ok with the initial condition p n 0 equal to 0 equal to 1 because we have this condition with us n 0 equal to 0 ok. So, probability of uh, 0 is equal to 0 ok. So, probability of n 0 equal to 0 is 0 ok. So, let us solve this differential equation we can put n equal to 1 ok let us put n equal to let us put uh, n equal to 0 first ok. So, let us put n equal to 0 in equation 1 ok in this equation then d over d t of p n 0 equal to 0 n t equal to 0 will be equal to lambda minus lambda p n t equal to 0. minus probability that n t is less than minus 1 is equal to minus 1 ok. okay. Now, probability that n t equal to minus 1 is 0 because n t is always greater than or equal to 0. So, this value becomes 0. So, that is what we get d over d t of uh, p n t equal to 0. equal to minus lambda p n t equal to 0 ok. So, let us say p n t equal to 0 be a ok, let a be equal to p n t equal to 0. Let us say this value is a ok, then d a y d t equal to minus lambda a. So, we can solve it easily. So, d a by a equal to minus lambda d t. This gives you a equal to e to the power minus lambda t into some constant say c ok, a equal to some constant c times e to the power minus lambda t. When t equal to 0 we put uh, we have to find the value of a at t equal to 0 ok. So, at t equal to 0 probability that n 0 equal to 0 is 0 ok, uh, probability that n 0 equal to 0 is uh, 1 ok, uh, probability that n 0 equal to 0 uh, when t equal to 0 when t equal to 0 ok. Yeah, this when p t equal to 0 probability that n 0 equal to 0 is 1 ok. So, what we will get 1 equal to c ok, we will get 1 equal to c when you put t equal to 0 we get right hand side as c and a, a is this ok at t equal to 0 since we have assumed that n 0 equal to 0. So, n 0 equal to 0 is certain and therefore, its probability is 1. So, c is equal to 1 ok. So, we get a equal to e to the power minus lambda t ok. So, we get 
uh, probability nt equal to 0 equal to e to the power minus lambda t ok. So, uh, this is how we solve this and this is what we get here ok probability that n 0 equal to 0 is 1 ok. So, probability that n g equal to 0 it comes out to be e to the power minus lambda t ok. Now, uh, let us find probability of n t equal to 1. So, let us take uh, t equal to n equal to 1 here let us take n equal to 1 here then we will get d over d t p n t equal to 1 mi equal to minus lambda times p n t equal to 1 minus p n t equal to 0 and p n t equal to 0 we have already found e to the power minus lambda t. So, let us put its value here. So, minus lambda p n t equal to 1 minus lambda uh, minus e to the power minus lambda t ok. So, uh, then what do we get d over d t of p n t equal to 1 is equal to minus lambda p n t equal to 1 plus lambda e to the power minus lambda t ok. Now, let us find the uh, let us solve this differential equation ok. So, this is of the type d a ok the, this is of the type let us if you take p n t equal to 1 as some uh, say b then this is d b by d t equal to minus lambda b plus lambda e to the power minus lambda t. So, let us solve this. So, let p n t equal to 1 I call as b ok. So, then d b by d t equal to minus lambda b plus lambda e to the power minus lambda t ok. So, I can write it as d b by d t plus lambda b equal to e to the lambda e to the power minus lambda t ok. Now, this is a linear differential equation ok. So, integrating factor is e to the power lambda uh, d t ok. So, this is e to the power lambda t. So, we multiply by this integrating factor in this equation and then integrate with respect to t ok. So, multiplying let me call it as equation number say 1 ok multiplying 1 by e to the power lambda t and then integrating with respect to t we have uh, e to the power lambda t into b equal to uh, lambda e to the power minus lambda t into e to the power lambda t d t ok. So, this is equal to lambda t plus some constant let us say d ok. Now, when t is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 what we get we get this as b and here this is 0 this is d. So, then d is equal to b. Okay. And uh, when t is equal to 0 okay, probability that n t equal to 1. Okay. So, we get n 0 equal to 1 probability that n 0 equal to 1 is equal to 0 n 0 equal to 1 means uh, uh, because n t is the probability that uh, uh, number of uh, n t denotes the number of occurrences in the time interval 0 to uh, t. Okay. So, when t is equal to 0 okay, uh, probability that n 0 equal to 1 is 0. So, b equal to 0 ok. So, we have uh, b equal to 0 ok. So, thus uh, e to the power lambda t into b is equal to lambda t. So, b is equal to lambda t e to the power minus lambda t ok. This means probability that n t equal to 1 is equal to lambda t e to the power minus lambda t ok. So, we get p n t equal to 1 equal to lambda t e to power minus lambda t. Now, we can carry on this process ok. We can take now n equal to 2 and show that when p n t equal to 2 is lambda t whole square into e to power minus lambda t over 2 factorial ok. So, by mathematical induction we can uh, we then have probability that n t equal to n ok n t equal to n is lambda t raised to the power n into e to power minus lambda t over 
n factorial ok. So, we prove this result probability that n t equal to n is lambda t raised to the power n into e to the power minus lambda t over n factorial. Now, uh, the parameter lambda here the parameter lambda here is called the uh, rate or intensity of the Poisson process ok. Now, it can be shown that probability that n 2 my n t 2 minus n t 1 equal to n ok during the time interval t 1 to t 2 uh, number of occurrences is n probability of that is equal to lambda t 2 minus t 1 to the power n into e to the power minus lambda t 2 minus t 1 over n factorial. Thus, the probability of the increments depends on the length of the interval uh, t 2 minus t 1 and not on the absolute times t 2 and t 1. For example, the number of occurrences in the time interval 2 4 has the same distribution ok as that of the number of occurrences in the time interval the 10 to 12. The Poisson process is a process with stationary increments. So, we can say that. Now, let us find the mass and variance of the Poisson process. Note that any time at any time t equal to t greater than 0 and t is a Poisson random variable with the parameter lambda t. We can see here if you see this probability uh, for n t equal to n it is lambda t raised to the power n into e to the power minus lambda t over n factorial ok. In the case of Poisson uh, uh, random variable it the, uh, 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 the probability is that uh, uh, prob probability of n successes is lambda to the power n into e to the power minus lambda t over n factorial because lambda is the mean there ok. So, here we can say that it is the Poisson random variable with the parameter lambda t there the parameter is lambda here the parameter is lambda lambda t. Now, there lambda is the mean here lambda t is the mean and there variance is lambda here variance is lambda t. So, we can say that the mass and uh, uh, variance ok the mean and variance of the Poisson process is given by lambda t and uh, lambda t again ok. So, uh, uh, it, so, we can say that n t is a random process with independent increments a typical realization of Poisson process is shown in this figure ok. Say this is 0, 0 to t 1 ok then t 1 to t 2 then t 2 to t 3. So, this is during the time period 0 to t 1 it shows the number of occurrences and then t 2 to t, uh, t 1 to t 2 then t 2 to t 3 number of occurrences in the time. So, uh, during this period 0 to t 1 number of occurrences here then between t 1 to t 2 number of occurrences here and then so the n t denotes the number of occurrences here. So, uh, let us consider this problem a petrol pump serves on the average 30 cars per hour ok. So, here lambda is equal to 30 by 60 the intensity ok. Lambda if you see here in the Poisson process lambda is what we denote lambda by a it is a rate parameter ok. So, rate here in this problem rate is uh, 30 by 60. So, this is lambda equal to half ok. Now, so a petrol pump serves on the average 30 cars per hour find the probability that during a period of 5 minutes t is equal to 5 during a period of 5 minutes no car comes to the station that means probability that n 5 is equal to 0. We have to find the probability that during the time interval uh, 5 minutes no car comes to the station. So, number of occurrences is 0 this is lambda t uh, raised to the power 0 into e to the power minus lambda t divided by 0 factorial because p and t equal to n we have this formula p and t equal to n equal to lambda t raised to the power n into e to the power minus lambda t divided by n factorial ok. So, here number of occurrences is 0 no car comes to the station. So, this is equal to e to the power minus lambda t lambda is equal to half t is equal to 5. So, e to the power minus 5 by 2 which means uh, the answer is 0 0.0821. Ok. Then exactly 3 cars come to the station. So, probability that n 5 is equal to 3 ok. Probability that n 5 equal to 3 means lambda t raised to the power 3 into e to the power minus lambda t divided by 3 factorial. So, this is uh, lambda is half t is 5. So, 5 by 2 raised to the power 3 uh, raised to power 3 e to the power minus 5 by 2 divided by 
3 factorial ok and this value is then 5 cube means uh, 125, 125 divided by 2 cube is 8, 8 into 6 is 48 into e to the power minus 5 by 2. So, this value comes out to be uh, 0.2138 ok. Then probability that uh, more than 3 cars come to the station yeah. So, n 5 is greater than 3. n 5 is greater than 3. Now, this is equal to 1 minus probability that n 5 is equal to 0, no car comes to the station minus probability that n 5 equal to 1 minus probability that n 5 equal to 2. Okay? So, this is equal to 1 minus n 5 equal to 0 means e to the power minus lambda t and uh, n 5 equal to 1 means lambda t to the power 1 e to the power minus lambda t over 1 factorial. So, lambda t e to the power minus lambda t and here n, n 5 equal to 2 means lambda t whole square into e to the power minus lambda t divided by 2 factorial. Okay. So, this is equal to 1 minus e to the power minus 5 by 2 minus 5 by 2 e to the power minus 5 by 2 minus 5 by 2 whole square divided by 2 into e to the power minus 5 by 2 which comes out to be if you calculate it it is 0 0.2424 okay so uh, this is a problem on poison process okay which deals with the probability of the number of occurrences during a time interval 0 to t in our next lecture, we shall discuss uh, exponential uh, distribution which is based on the Poisson process. So, with that I would like to end my lecture. Thank you very much for your attention.